Hello everyone, welcome to Mondays with Maya. Hello. Here I am in Paris with Bonnie Yang. Hello Bonnie. Hi Maya. <laughs> She's a wonderful designer from New York and we are here in Paris in her showroom uh, with her new collection, which I love by the way, because I want to buy at least five pieces. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and we will talk about it. <laughs> so, Bonnie does yoga for many years. What kind of yoga do you do? I started doing yoga probably when I was 18. Oh my God. Jiva Mukti in the East Village. Wow, we are talking the real stuff. Yeah, <laughs> Second Avenue. Gorgeous. Moved with them to Lafayette Street. Wow. And then to Broadway. And I switched between Jiva Mukti, Shala, mm -hmm. and Kula. <gasps> Beautiful. Yeah. Do you uh, meditate? Do you have a practice of meditation? I meditate after the class. I mean, I'm sure you're familiar yeah. with the classes. Right. It's always yeah. like, some of them have 20 minutes of meditation, some 5 minutes, some 10 minutes prior, after. Um, that's beautiful. Uh, I still want to talk about confidence because we've been on this for this whole month now. So how clothing can and colors that we wear how that makes us confident or not. So do you have that in consideration when you create your new collection? Well, yes. I think that when a woman dresses well and feels beautiful, mm -hmm. she walks in a room and feels confident. Yes. And everybody feels it because it's an energy thing yes. that flows out to everybody. And it really makes a difference. And oh, what about the colors? Because some, some days I know I wake up and I don't want to wear any colors. I just don't want to be seen and things like that. And some days you really want to cast. And in fact, if you push yourself, if you really need to be confident, sometimes I push myself to wear some great confident colors that will make me be seen and looked and I, you know, the meeting will be going well. <laughs> you know, these kind of things. There's a lot mm -hmm. of a connection between color, confidence and clothing well, style absolutely. that you're wearing. I mean, you, did you see my book, Colors of the Vanishing Tribes? No, tell me more. It's, it was a photography journal of various tribes that are disappearing around the world and it started because I noticed that in various countries different minority groups or tribal people were wearing specific colors. Right. And there's meanings behind all those colors. Course, like the Masse warrior, I remember. Red. Oh my god, that whole red, red is blood, so gorgeous. Power. Red. Yes. I'm sure lots of designers then including you were inspired by those mm -hmm. colours, right? Mm -hmm. So is there any any specific meditation that you do like before you create the colours or before you create a new collection? I think that it's a lifestyle. Yeah. It's not a specific meditation. Mm -hmm. I think doing yoga is a lifestyle. That's I've been it. doing yoga my yeah. my entire adult life. And I think it's an addictive thing mm -hmm. because it's if you go to the gym or you do an exercise class, you're not obliged to turn your phone off. And the thing about yoga, you can't have a phone in a yoga class. Yes. You just don't yes. do that. So you have to shut your phone off for an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes, keep it in your bag, keep it in the back room, keep it or in the hall, and nobody could get to you. And yeah. if everyone that works for you, knows you, knows that you do yoga and this is your sacred time, it, people don't expect an immediate reaction. Whereas all day long in our lives, people call, text, and expect an immediate reaction. Right. And that's very invasive to life, right. to the creative process, right. to our mental health. Right. So yoga for me, it gives me a moment, more than a moment. It's very time consuming. Right. Um, but that time is my time. Your time. And yes. no one else's time. Yes. And do you often wear yoga clothes? Because I see you in yoga clothes, but then you throw this amazing jacket on top of something beautiful and you can go to lunch. <laughs> I wear a unitard for yoga. I made my, a unitard. Oh my God. Yes. And I wear it all day long. I wear it at night. I, wear, I, I literally will go to yoga in my unitard. 
<laughs> then if I have to go straight to a meeting, I will put on one of my big cashmere sweaters and high boots and, and like some it. fabulous jacket and I will wear it all day long. And people yeah. make, yeah. This is wonderful. I mean, yeah. that is the lifestyle. As we are say, saying, yoga is a lifestyle and you can incorporate in your life and do anything. You can go to yoga class, you can go to lunch, you can just put something on and mm -hmm. that's beautiful. Well, I have something to share with you, like what I do when I don't feel confident, because some days you do, sometimes you don't. Um, I tell myself a mantra. I just call Sat Nam. So if I have to speak somewhere and I'm feeling nervous, I will just keep calling Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Sat Nam. I'm calling the truth. So whatever the truth is being revealed. So that is name, truth is my name. So I'm calling to be my truth self and that's how you can be confident. So that's a little tip for you. And thank you so much, Bonnie. And uh, I will I'm see you very I'm gonna give good. a tip for yes, pregnant please. women. <laughs> so when I gave birth to my second child, mm -hmm. I did a five o'clock class at Jiva Mukti. Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock I went to the hospital. Oh my God. My son came out at 11.05. Oh my God, I have goosebumps. <laughs> and every day throughout my pregnancy, I did, did yoga. Did. Well, that is beautiful, and please follow that yes. tip. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Bye -bye. you.